Hi everyone, welcome back. And today I have for you the Air Cushion Chrome Pens from Madame Glam. There's 10 different colors. And if you want the set, the set is $249.50, or you can buy them individually for $24.95. Now there is a coupon code on the screen for 30% off. There is VIP prices and there's also sales going on right now. So if you're interested in purchasing these, I will have the link in the description box below. Now, uh, these pens do not have the names on the little pen here. There's no name, no color name. So you would have to go to their website to look for the color. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to tell you the colors because I don't want to confuse anybody and make a mistake and have you go by the color and they'd say oh my gosh I got the wrong color it wasn't the one you had because I can't really tell the difference in the colors you know on screen and you know and with the pens in front of me you know so anyway there was some film on there that you will need to peel back and take off to get your pens ready to use I'm just gonna be honest and come right out and tell you that I am one that does not like chrome powders. I don't like any powders really. I've tried them, I've worn them, I just don't like them and I think the main reason that I don't like these pigment powders, chrome powders, whatever, is because of the mess, okay? It's such a mess. It leaves pigment everywhere, it's flying up in the air and I, I just don't want to deal with that, you know? I want things to be neat with the application process you know and i don't want things flying up in the air all over the place so i don't like chromes and i hardly ever use them you know hardly ever but these are supposed to be neat and clean and less mess so we'll see if they are what i want to show you and tell you is how these work is that of course that's the cushion end right well down in here you can see the color the chrome powder and it's on a spring load see listen when I put this tool down in here you, you hear that so it's like a spring load and when you put the cushion end back in there you're supposed to be able to get that little cushion to have more powder on it and some of them work better than others now I want to swatch these beautiful air cushion pen colors for you and to swatch these you want to make sure that you are applying the color over a no wipe top coat okay a smooth finish and you can use any color to do this most people use black because it shows up the colors better and the chrome effect better uh, but you can use any color any color that you want now i'm using a one-step gel polish in black from madame glam madame glam has a huge selection of one-step gel polishes i prefer those a lot of times when i do this type of technique because it saves you time you only need one layer or maybe two layers as opposed to four layers when you use a regular gel polish. A regular gel polish requires you to put down your base, two layers of color usually, and then your top coat. And with a one-step gel polish, it's usually just one layer because the base and top coat are in the polish with the color. Or, you know, it's two layers, so as opposed to four. As you watch me swatch these cushion chrome pens, you're going to see that I struggle a little bit with having enough of the pigment on the little sponge cushion. So that's the main thing here, is being able to load that cushion up with enough pigment. Because when I do that, then the pigment goes on the swatch stick much, much easier but I'm just gonna let you watch this and I'll come in and out when I need to.
Hey, I'm back here ready to tell you that I do know the name of this color because it's the only gold holographic one they have and it's called We Are Golden. I do also want you to know, maybe you can tell already, that I am applying a good amount of pressure on the swatch stick when I'm applying the chrome powder. I can give you the name of this one here because it's the only silver holographic one they have and it's called bling bling and it happens to be one of my favorites and as you can see during the application process here that it's so much easier and it glides on because the little sponge applicator is full of pigment all right of course it is a little bit messier than the other ones but it's still was easier to get out of the little container the pen than a lot of the other ones and i think maybe it was because maybe it was a, a softer pigment maybe it was compacted a little bit more loosely than the other ones Now this color is like the, the regular gold that they have and it's called Morning Star. Once again, I started to apply the pigment and right away I could tell I just did not have enough pigment on that sponge and I needed to get pigment out of this container down in here. So what I did was I took my needle tool and I kind of scratched it down in there to loosen up some of that pigment and get it on the sponge. And that seemed to work out a little bit better because I think some of those uh, pigment palettes that are down inside that pen, they've got it so compacted tightly that the sponge is just not taking it off of the palette.
Now I'm about to top coat and I am using Madame Glam's No Wipe Top Coat to top coat these. And this is a test, a true test, because anyone that's worked with chrome pigments and pigments in general is that once you start top coating, it seems like it changes the pigment right away, especially a chrome one, a pure chrome one. But you know, even pigments like this, they start to lift off the nail, move around, become sparkly, and they say don't overstroke it when you're top coating or you'll loosen it and cause it to go sparkly or whatever. But I did not have any of that with these pigments. And, but I will say the blue one did cause me a little bit of problems when I was top coating. It's the only one that went kind of sparkly. But nine out of 10 that were good. Yeah, that's impressive. And that's the end of the swatch video. And I just wanna give you my thoughts and opinions on this. I love the colors. They are beautiful and bright. Just look at them. You can see how beautiful they are. And I love that it's a neater application if you can get the pigment to come out of the pen, right? Uh, the only problem for me that I had was getting enough of that pigment out of that pen. I mean, maybe it's just a design flaw in the pen Maybe they could move the spring up or make it like a chapstick or lip balm to where you can twist and move up that pigment palette a little bit. I also think that the pens are overpriced. But overall, I think the concept of the pen is good, but it just don't work as well as it could. I think they could tweak the design of the pen and make it work more effectively. And yeah, that's it. I just wanna say thank you so much, Madam Glam, for sending me the Chrome pens. And I wanna say thank you to everyone else for being here. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.